Good morning, everyone. It is, uh, what is it, day four of the 369 cleanse. So I've been up for like a good hour or so, just getting some stuff done on my phone. Uh, brushed my teeth, and now I'm gonna get our lemon waters going and all of our other goodies for the morning. So it's like 11 o'clock. We, uh... It's day four of the 369 cleanse. Day four. We're drinking our our morning ritual. We're, I got my celery. She's on her... I'm on my heavy metal Heavy metal. We did our 32 ounce of lemon water in the morning. Celery. Heavy metal smoothie. Today, the difference is you are drinking 32 ounces of celery juice days one through three it was drink anywhere from 24 to 32 ounces now you're increasing it to 32 ounces so yeah but then the rest of the day our food will look very similar um to days one through three the way it works is it's kind of broken it's like your liver works on these like sets of three it works in patterns um, and so once it sees like that you're doing this like pattern of this cleanse, it like it trusts that, oh, okay, I can start to release toxins because what they're putting in their body is, is this pattern and it's allowing us to cleanse the body. So days one through three is kind of like the warm up, And then the next set of three days, so uh, four, five, six, um, is when you're starting to purge the toxins and then seven, eight, nine is when it's like really flushing it out and it's like, okay, it's the final push of the marathon. Yeah. And so like in the mornings, what I've noticed, I feel, I, I get the tingles and the numbness and feel really heavy in the mornings. But then once I get going on the lemon water and the celery juice and the heavy metals, those symptoms I'm feeling in the morning aren't there throughout the afternoon. So I think that's part of your, you know, you're giving a lot, throwing a lot at your liver and then your liver has to process it and it has nowhere to send it if it's being overloaded with toxins. Mm -hmm. So then it gets sent into the bloodstream and that's what, that's how I'm feeling that tingles in the numbness. Yeah, I noticed I haven't been getting the best sleep. I've been getting up at different times of the night. and Because you have to pee from well, all the water and tea we drink at night. That's a big part it. of it. It's like right before you go to bed, you're drinking the, uh, the water and the tea. And then throughout the night, you're peeing because you need to flush out. Well, yeah, so that's... I'm pretty sure that's why we have to drink that before bed is because your liver needs that extra help flushing things out, right? So what you, why don't you tell them what you're doing today? So today I'm dropping off a delivery to the restaurant. This is our first order. So I'm dropping it off to a Thai, local Thai place here and down the street from my house. And then I am off to the farmer's market. I'm going to the market <clears throat> over in Berkeley Right now we're selling at one market and we've been trying to get into the two Oakland markets with no success yet. So I think we're going to kind of look at some of the other markets, see if we can get in. Yeah. So we've been back about a month and we already had a market. We've already got microgreens to sell and we're already, we already have a restaurant. So mm -hmm. pretty excited. So yeah, busy day today, and my sister is going to be coming with me to the market. So I think, I'll, uh, should we? Should I bring them with me? Mhm. Mm okay. Yeah, yeah, you get to come with me to the market. So. Take them with you, cause I'll be here just doing business stuff. So we got everything cut for the restaurant. I'm gonna go deliver it here in a second. Ashley is putting together the bags for them. Let's check that out, see how that's coming along. All right, there they are. So each one of these is a half pound. So we're giving them a, a pound in total. And then we weighed it out here on the scale. So that's how we know how much is goes in each bag. We'll put 
the, the scale link in the description below if you're looking for a good scale. This one's been great for us. So Ashley's putting together this invoice for the customer. You know, when you show up with their delivery, have a little invoice ready for them. So this is our microgreens cut sheet here. This is gonna be delivered with, with his microgreens so he knows what the price is. We show additional seed varieties we carry, kind of their taste, the different sizes we can harvest them at, the color, and then how much he's paying for the microgreen. All right, so we're off. So I'm gonna go drop this delivery off, and then the farmer's market in Berkeley doesn't start till uh, two o'clock so I got about an hour and a half before that starts so I got time to go drop this off maybe walk into a couple restaurants real quick and then come back eat some lunch and then go check out this market <laughs> Uh, Simon in? Simon? Yeah. He doesn't look here today. Oh, okay. I, I'm uh, dropping off some microgreens for him. Oh! oh good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he had told me to come by this oh. week and drop it off. Oh, this week's very fresh. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was just That's cut. Really I just cut it this morning, so. Oh, nice. Hope you guys enjoy it. I guess you're going to put it on top of your, yeah, that's your great. stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. thanks. Alright, so that went pretty good. We, one of the people that I stopped in on last week, I went in and followed up with a visit. He said he didn't have any use for it on his sandwiches and that and stuff. And then I said, well, what about if you put some back there with all your veggies? And he said, yeah, that'd be cool. Let's do that. And so he ordered six of each, six sunflower and six peas. My first uh, grocery store order in. Ashley told me I had, this is a birthday present from someone. But what I noticed is it was open. <laughs> that was so me. Someone opened my birthday present. I didn't know present. what was in there. It didn't say birthday present on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> so then I opened it and realized. So we got a seed catalog. Nice, a gift certificate to get some seeds from Johnny's. Yay. Hey everyone, so I just made our liver rescue smoothies. There's a little extra, so I put it in a bowl for Callie our dog Callie. Um, so this is our lunch. We had the heavy metal detox smoothie for breakfast, had an apple as a snack. We've been drinking our lemon water for the day. Um, and then we'll have this smoothie. Um, and then if we're hungry, we'll have some apples to munch on before dinner. Um, and for dinner, we're gonna have the kale salad option. And what's exciting is we actually have some kale ready in our garden. We've been back here about a month since coming back from our farm for the winter. Um, and we planted a garden immediately and we finally have something that is ready to eat. smoothie which I still have I'm drinking it while I'm driving here and we're headed over to get my sister right now and then we're going to head over to this farmers market check it out to the market we got our spot we're gonna check out what they're 
sitches on the microgreens, if there's anybody selling them there or not. If there's not, then we got a good shot at uh, getting in here. All right, well, let's go check it out. Hey, uh, I own a local farm. How do we go about getting enrolled and setting up a booth here and stuff? Yeah, the way you get enrolled is by um, going on our um, website right here. Okay. Um, and filling out application. And um, yeah, we, we would get back to you basically, yeah. We do microgreens. Oh do you, really? Do you have any microgreen people here? Microgreens? No, I don't think we do. Yeah. I haven't heard of that term, microgreens. Like so. sprouts. Oh, then, um, yeah, at our Saturday market we have sprouts. Okay. Um, but not this one, or I don't think there's a one either. So, yeah. Okay, so I just came back in from harvesting the kale. Show you guys what I got, and um, ben is out at the market to go see if we can get in. Alright, we just wrapped up the Berkeley market. No success. I'm going to have to reach out to someone. They gave us a card and then they'll let us know if there's availability. But there is no one doing microgreens, so that's a good sign. So we'll have to uh, wait it out. Wait and see. Alright, so let's check in with Ashley, see what she's up to. Alright, it's dinner time, so I'm going to show you guys the kale salad that we're having for dinner. I've chopped everything up and now i got to um, put it in the food processor. Kale salad in the 369, or in the Cleanse to Heal book. And then we have cucumbers, celery, green onion, asparagus, dates, garlic that will be minced, tomatoes, and then I roughly chopped the kale. Alright, so it turned out a little soupy, so I might have uh, blended it a little bit too much. Or... Go get dinner! You hear that? She called me for dinner. Let's go get some dinner, see what she's got cooking tonight. Hey! I'm not doing any cooking because it's raw. Oh, true that. True. <laughs> so, uh, it's the kale salad, and I was going to have you taste it. Uh, because you can add a little bit of spice if you'd like to it. So I'm gonna add cayenne because I love spice. Mm. I mean, the salad's good. Probably not one of my favorites though. But we'll be getting in a lot of kale, and this kale from, came from our garden. What would you rate this as far as all his, all his dinners so far? Um, Top three? Probably comes and on my number four. Wow. Wow, that's second to last. I know, it's pretty bad. I'm scared to eat it. No, it's good. It's better than the nori rolls is what it means. Oh yeah, it was nori rolls were and It's good else. with the, the spice I just added. And there's little date chunks in there, so you get little sweet bites. Let me try this out. Okay. I mean, see, it's not bad, right? No, it's not bad. I thought it would be worse when I heard we were having <laughs> kale salad for dinner. I was not really looking we're forward not to it. We're not big kale eaters. We usually throw them in smoothies. Not bad. 
I'm gonna put my favorite pepper Just on it. Just a little bit. A little chipotle. That'll fix up any, oh, no, no, no. any meal. Slow down. Do you remember what happened when you put it on your cauliflower bowl? Do you want to tell them? I don't think. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a sprinkler on it. Do you want to tell them what happened to your cauliflower bowl? I ruined the whole bowl and then you had to mix your bowl in with my bowl because I put in too much chipotle. All right, so we are wrapping up day four of the cleanse. Ben is over here editing one of our videos. Callie's hanging out, getting some rubs. <laughs> and we're just drinking our lemon balm tea with honey and our 16 ounces of lemon water. Drinking all our liquids so we can pee all night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you have to say, Cal's? Say good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs>